Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Step Campus. So this is a class 16th where we are going to talk about weight in selenium. Okay, so let's get started. What is weight, and then we will uh, talk about the types of weight. Okay, so yeah. So first one, like let's talk about what is weights in selenium. Okay, so like selenium, we are giving command. Okay, so that selenium can work according to our need. Okay. so sometimes what happen suppose if you are searching something some button you have to click but that button is not enable at that time then the selenium will fail okay it will tell like no such element present but we know okay because we are the coder we are the developer okay we are the tester so we know like this particular element may be come after few minutes after few second so as a human being we know but the system won't okay so to give some special time to our uh, to our command okay we will use weights okay so the people which we are which uh, who are following my lecture from the starting they will get to know about these things because we are using some thread dot slip okay so what that thread dot slip will do na so thread dot slip will wait uh, for such particular amount of time okay and based on that one it will Uh, uh gives us the result okay so like here we can see there are two types of weights okay first one is implicit weight and the second one is explicit weight okay and implicit weight we are uh, defining like driver dot manage dot timers which you can see in the screen and explicit weight also have two types first one one is web driver weight and second one is fluent weight okay so mostly we are using implicit weight and explicit weight uh only okay fluent weight is a part of explicit weight but we are not uh, uh using that one okay so yeah let's see uh first okay so first i will show you okay uh, like implementation i will show you from the next lecture but only we will see the definition here okay so first i will show you uh, how, uh where we have used this uh, slip okay see so this Slip thread dot slip two hundred seconds. Okay, uh, in any like previous lecture, you can also see like I have used some thread dot slip. So, if we want to give any specific amount of time, okay, so we have to use this thread dot slip again and again. Okay, so suppose like if multiple elements are opening by together, okay, or or we are going to open some different buttons, or we are going to open some different tags and all. so in all these things what we have to do now we have to give this thread dot slip again and again okay so this will make the code like more complex and sometimes it will be lengthy okay so to overcome these things uh, what we will do now we will uh, use of this implicit weight and explicit weight okay so that uh, we can uh, like we don't need to write this thread dot slip again and again and we can only define uh, at the top and that Uh, define uh, seconds already followed by the all the elements. Okay, so let's first go to the definition. Okay, so from the next lecture we will see uh, like definition of this, uh, the implementation of this. Okay, so yeah, see uh, what is implicit weight and what is explicit weight. Okay, so first uh, uh, we will talk about the timeouts. Okay, so here in the screen you can see. implicit weight sets a default timeout for the entire test run while explicit weight sets timeout for specific condition what does it mean so like if you are using a uh, implicit weight now so we have to define it globally okay so we will define it global like wait till 10 second we will uh, uh, define it globally and every element when when uh, the selenium needs some time it will automatically wait for that specified uh, specific 10 seconds timing or whatever time we, which we have defined globally it will wait till then and after that 10 second if any element won't found then it will fail and it will give us the error otherwise it will wait for the 10 second if we found that element inside uh, under the 3 second so it will move to the next element okay so it won't use the 10 seconds okay so i hope you are getting these things now explicit weight so explicit weight what it will do na it uh, we will define this explicit weight not globally but we have to define it in uh, for the specific condition for example suppose uh, one button is there we have to click on this button and after clicking it will take around 20 second to display uh, some text okay but we have defined implicit weight as a 10 second so 
under 10 seconds the button is visible but the text will visible after 20 seconds so our script will fail but as a human being we know so what we will do we will define an explicit weight of 20 seconds okay so implicit weight globally and explicit weight specifically we will define okay this is the first difference second one condition so implicit weight uh, for element to be appear on the page while explicit weight for a specific condition which i already told you okay the condition is that one so it will wait for an element to appear okay but explicit weight what it will do it will uh, wait for a specific condition if we give 20 seconds so it will utilize 20 seconds if the button will available at 10 seconds also it will wait for the 20 seconds and then it will move further okay now uh, we will talk about the scope scope also we already discovered like uh, for scope uh, implicit weight will apply globally but explicit weight we have to apply locally okay we have to give for the specific condition that's why it, that's why it is local and implicit weight is global okay now exception so exception uh, what exception it will throw so if you are using implicit so it will give us no such element exception okay because web driver element cannot find that element which we are waiting for okay but if when we are using explicit weight so it will give us timeout exception okay so <coughs> i hope these things are clear to you guys so it's a very uh, easy definition you can go through these slides and you can understand these things okay so just pause this video just grow uh, go through these slides and understand these things okay so from the next lecture we are going to use implicit weight okay and again in further lectures we are going to use the explicit weight so thread dot slip we, we won't use okay because that is very uh, in harsh condition only we will use the thread or slip otherwise we will go with the implicit weight and explicit weight only okay fluent fluent weight also uh, is not uh, uh, coming to picture many times so we are rely on this implicit weight and explicit weight only okay so that's all in this video guys so we'll see you in the next lecture happy learning bye bye